the Image Awards are a way of recognising the best of the images that we've acquired since we last held the award. So it's a retrospective thing. We then create a short list of between 100 and 150 images and those are the images that are shown to the judges on the day. The process was very interesting. We had a lot of incredible images to choose from and in the end you have to be quite ruthless. It was amazing. I mean I've not done this before and uh, seeing so many images and having a group of us just brainstorming our way through them to try and find which we thought were deserving to go into the exhibition next year. An amazing process. We managed to get down from about what 200 down to about 40 quite quickly and then you get really stuck into it. And I think it's a combination of you know seeing things, seeing images which are dramatic and really really you know, have an impact on you and uh, I mean for me obviously as a scientist in the group I was keen to make sure that things that we were seeing had a scientific story to tell if possible. Another criteria was uh, if, if there was a very apparent technique, a new technique that, that was shown in the images that, that was something that we can really use and learn from in terms of extracting scientific data from it. So some of them it was all about how on earth did they do that? Some were, you just couldn't guess, you couldn't be begin to guess what the image was unless you looked at the caption and then you suddenly realised, you know, one was of um, the little um, hooks on the end of a caterpillar's uh, uh, leg which enable it to climb up uh, apparently smooth surfaces so expertly, a sort of Velcro-like uh, adaptation and as soon as you saw it and realised it suddenly the penny drops and it makes sense. But a, in a different kind of um, stimulus was from one of the entries that we've singled out for special attention which was actually a photograph taken in a surgical theatre and for me that the photograph is incredibly evocative. Looking at the images at the end I think there's a fantastic cross-section um, both of the intriguing and things that reveal objects that we all know. I think anything that brings some, some level of understanding uh, of the beauty, the, the fascination um, of science um, to the general public um, uh, is, is a good thing. The image is one of the best ways of conveying scientific data uh, in journals and, and to a wider press. And that, that's why things like this competition, the Welcome Images, is very important because you're not only getting really important scientific data out, but you're doing it in a way that means that people can look at it in a gallery and say, that's an amazing thing to look at, but then they can read about that actually it's a really important technique and it has come from scientists doing research. Uh, and, and that's why these type of award ceremonies are, are so important.